Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about one of my absolute favorite brands in the outdoor industry and one of my favorite backpacks, the Osprey Talon 44 backpack. So guys, if you're looking for a great ultralight option that is kind of on a, a budget, then the Talon 44 or the Talon series of backpacks from Osprey are going to be a really great option for you because you're getting a lot of awesome features for a low cost. So let's talk about the cost first and then we'll get into all the little specifics about what I love about this backpack. What I paid for this and the retail price that I have looked online is $150. That's a 44 liter backpack for $150. Uh, I just looked on Amazon and you can get it for even less than that, $125. So when you're looking at ultralight options for a traditional style backpack like the Talon 44, then this is going to be a great one for you to look at because $125 to $150 for a backpack of this size and what is included with it is not a lot to pay. When Go Light was still in business, their backpacks, which were significantly lighter than this um, by at least a, a pound, you still paid like $300 for the backpack. Um, and granite, granite gear has some of the ultralight options as well, and they're and they're pretty expensive uh, uh, as as far as that's concerned. Also, so Osprey has done a really good job of creating a 44 liter backpack that is just barely under two and a half pounds. Which, if you watched uh, a previous video that I did about the Cotopaxi Toboche 55 liter backpack, so only 10 liters more. That pack weighs nearly twice as much as the Talon 44 at just over four pounds. So Osprey is using lighter materials and they are incorporating a lot of uh, things about the pack that lighten it up uh, altogether. So let's get into the specifics of what I love about this. Uh, I have taken this pack on quite a few different trips and I use it when I know that I'm either going out for a couple days or it's not something that I need to carry a lot of gear with me. So like I said, let's get into the specifics about the pack. Basically, you've got 44 liters of, of space in the pack and you're looking at the medium large version, so you're gonna get a little more space than you would the small medium. Um, but I want to talk about uh, the suspension system about the pack first and then get into some of the other, other items on it. So because this pack is like two and a half pounds, you don't want to carry more than probably 30, 35 pounds in this pack. Uh, and the suspension system obviously shows that that weight, anything above like 30 pounds is not going to be the most comfortable. Uh, the most I've carried in this is 32 pounds and even that was uh, a little too much for, for me and what I was doing, but it was kind of a, a winter camp, so I had more gear with me, um, and we just, we just dealt with it. But your, your straps have um, a lot of breathability to them. They've got this mesh system, and then they've cut out, cut out in the foam, uh, which also cuts down on weight, but they're not as wide as you would see on like a traditional uh, like 55 or 65 or even a, a bigger backpack that has uh, the ability to carry more weight. The uh, hip belts are the same kind of idea. You've got a lot of mesh and cut out foam that helps with breathability but it also uh, lightens the the pack a bit. And then they have their airscape system back here which is a, a foam system and a lot of mesh and you've got these like cutouts like I said uh, kind of like ribs in the foam and then they show that this is like a chimney that allows the air to escape on your back for better breathability more comfort when you are pack or when you are backpacking and I've noticed that uh, my back does stay pretty dry 
when I'm hiking with this, and I really like it. It's a great, great feature. And it, what I also like about it, that you get on a lot of like these newer backpacks like Gregory or even some of the Osprey, um, you get this like crazy bow in the, in the backpack. And so what I don't like about that is it pushes the gear further away from your, from your back. And so it can put more pressure onto your hips if you're not loading your backpack correctly. And I like this because it puts the load right up against your back. It doesn't have that crazy bow, but you've still got a really nice uh, chimney and breathability system uh, incorporated here. Like almost all packs today, you've got adjustable uh, or adjustability of your suspension system, your straps. Uh, what you don't have on the hip belt though is the ability to adjust uh, the, the length of the straps. So you have to make sure that you fit this uh, properly. One of the other cool features that I like that Osprey paid attention to in this series is the length of strap that they put on your hip belt. One of the, the biggest pet peeves of, of mine is I'm only a 32 inch waist. That's not, not a big waist. And you put on some of these backpacks and you've got a strap hanging down past your, your waist that's like this long. Um, I don't know what, what they're expecting people to do with that. They don't really give a way to, to like get rid of it. And what I've just done is cut. I've just taken that, that completely off and so it, it fits me. But they've kind of integrated this so you don't have this like crazy long strap and it allows for a little bit of flexibility. So uh, one of the other the nice things is <clears throat> I don't want to cover my face but you've got the removable top pocket and you can take this off completely and I weighed this alone by itself and that is four ounces that if you aren't going to use this you can take it off completely and save yourself four ounces of weight on your system in that so uh, you might go down to closer to two pounds uh, with the pack on that. I really like their uh, stretchy pocket here in the front uh, typically I'll put uh, like my snacks or, or whatever for the day in here. I've also put uh, my sleeping system, like my tarp and, and ground cloth and stuff, so it's all there accessible. Uh, one of the things they don't include with this pack is a pack cover, and that's something that you would have to purchase separately, which is fine, but uh, I like the fact that a lot of the companies are including pack covers in their, in their pack systems today. Uh, you have a couple straps here that can be used to strap on like a, a closed cell foam pad or your tent. And then you do have, sorry, I just have a blanket in here to, to keep the, the pack puffed up. But you've you've got, got a sleeping bag compartment here that allows you access to the bottom of the pack, which is really nice. That uh, has come in handy for me a lot. It doesn't have a separate like uh, divider in there which I actually really like. I don't I don't like having uh, extra space that you can't uh, pack stuff around if you are putting your sleeping bag in the bottom without a um, stuff sack. Another really great feature of Osprey is this integrated trekking pole system that allows you to stow away your trekking poles and I'm going to try to find a picture that shows that, that in action. But it's great because if you don't need to use your trekking poles for that period of time, you've got this easy place to put them that like stows to the side of you and allows an arm to be free. And it, it really isn't uncomfortable. You don't even notice that they're there. Really great big sized side pockets. Oh, looks like I've got some... Aquamira from an old trip that I didn't know that was in there <laughs> and an old uh, granola bar wrapper. Very nice. It's nice when you find fun things in your pack. The compression ability of the pack is really good too. Um, like I said, the, the straps and everything are, are cut to a good length so you don't have a lot, but if you wanted to save some weight, you could cut these off. You might get a few ounces. Really 
a fantastic pack for somebody that wants a traditional style backpack, not necessarily a roll top like you see in a lot of ultralight packs, but something that is functional, that'll work well, that's comfortable, uh, has really good breathability, and is lightweight. The Talon 44 from Osprey is probably the way to go if you're on a budget and you need something that is just going to work really well, be really reliable, last a long time. I've had this for a couple of years. I've taken it out on uh, several trips and I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's been a great pack. The color I don't necessarily love, but I wanted something different than black so that it wouldn't be so hot in the sun and maybe melt things in, inside of my pack, but I don't know that you can necessarily get away from that. Yeah, guys, leave uh, your comments and any questions that you might have down in the comment section and leave your comments of things that you like and please subscribe to the channel. That's always a good thing and we'll catch you later.